So for a while, Samira was sitting on my lap on the office chair, and Cunha was sitting on the floor, snoozing, and everything was okay, and Samira was curious, but she couldn't really get down around it without startling her. And where's her foot? She's curious. And she's just trying to relax. And I'm not trying to bring anybody together. I'm just hanging out. But the dog made it obvious that she wanted to hang out on the couch with me on the couch. And it's just kind of... Yo soy sin barrera. She was able to tell me. And I just convinced Samira that this big old behemoth is terrified of her and not the other way around. I mean, it is. They're all spooked, but that little lady there who has been distended belly and, oh, Samira, that's not for you. Come here. It's not for you. Differentiating the food's going to be the issue. That was a problem before with Holly, too. She would just eat their food. And it's like, no, 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 no. we, we got to keep it simple. So I've got three locations in the house with food and water for the cats that are up in places that the dog can't get to. And then the dog's food is kind of out in the center now. And the cats are super pissed about their food not being in the center anymore. Um... Roger and April have both been down and out to the porch and back in. They have both explored upstairs in the back rooms to look at some of what the the uh, changes are. And uh, then they've gone back up. And so they've basically been on top of the fridge and the kitchen cabinets. And so I've got food and water up there on top of the fridge. And uh, I went up about half an hour ago. And I've been, you know, puttering about the house and doing other stuff, taking the dog out. And uh, I went up to April and Roger and went to just, you know, hi babies. And they both were just like super nuzzled up. Like they're they're just dying of, of loneliness or whatever. So I gave them a whole bunch of love. And they've had hugs and walk arounds. I pulled April down and gave her a big old. They're all like scared I'm going to toss them on the floor to the dog. And I'm like, no, no, no. Just give me a hug. Boy, no. Wait, hey. Wait, stop. It's not for you. I've got to find a tote situation or something to store this dog food. 45 pound bag. It's nuts that I just like picked that up on my shoulder and walked with it. Um, so we went outside and romped around. I did some uh, trimming on the... Um, I keep wanting to say like hollyhocks and they're honeysuckles. Um, trimming the hedges around where I've got them growing, uh, either at the fence line or the uh, artificial tree line that I'm starting, that these things will probably give rise to uh, some cedars that I'm going to transplant at some point over the summer. Um, I don't have a hose spigot right now, so being able to get enough water to these tree transplants uh if you move a tree you got to use a lot of water so uh, anyways i was trimming some of that and got her good romp and then we rolled around on the ground a bit because i remembered how uh holly and many other staffords that i've seen the staffordshires like to uh 
roll around on their back and kind of do this little snaky back thing or whatever. So I rolled on the ground and did that. She just went ape shit. And uh, so we had a good old snuggle roll on the ground. And she has been so ridiculously ultra polite, well behaved in this house. Like I was saying in a previous video about these dogs, like they have, you can have them sit there and be all like, Rrr. And I'm not trying to have her be that way, but she knows that she also has to, like, chill for these cats. That light is right, right in it. Bam. So, um, hi, come here, buddy, bud. Come here. Hi, sweetie. So, Miss Petunia has taken a nap. And Samira was able to sniff at her paws. And now she's snuggle up on either side here. It's kind of hard to show. Oi, baby. Hello. And Oi has already had her close encounter uh, with the new dog. Uh, she was laying on the bed, which was a very bold assertion on her part because the dog's been sleeping on the bed. So she was just like, this is my spot. And... The dog came up and she hissed and then I sat on the bed and the pupper hopped up on the other side and laid there and there was a hissy and then there was a calm down and always pretty chill and pretty observant. And she's was a little peaked, but she's definitely relaxed now. And I gave them some catnip earlier with the dog outside. So uh I believe she was they I gave them the nip and then she was I put her in the bedroom while I took a shower. Um But anyways, yeah, so the babies want to, they know that they're loved. I've been talking to them and petting them and making sure that their food and water are still good too. And, uh, got some cleaning up to do in the rooms that are cat only so that they're a little bit more suitable for them at that way. It's just, it's one thing if it's a room they sometimes go to to hide out and it's another thing if it's a room they're potentially going to spend a chunk of time in that uh, it's got to be a little cleaner. So, I'm going to take care of that tomorrow, I believe. Oi, no. You know you're not supposed to be on that table. Anyways, yeah, I just had to fix something that would make the transit around easier for the cats. I still got, I got stuff that's disarrayed from the carpenter ant uh, infestation, which I got rid of with cinnamon. And then uh, I had some other ants come in and I got rid of them with cinnamon. And This is, this is close. Look how close we are. Look, I'm just hack holding her. Look at his growl. And if a doggo's head pops out, she's going to be like startled. So as I was saying, I did a whole bunch of playing outside and everything. And then we had a good roll on the ground. And while we were having a good roll on the ground, uh, my Wing Chun is not, my, my, my Kung Fu is old. Um, I have to, to reacquaint myself, but, uh, I previously had really excellent luck with, uh, Holly being just a, a lunger and this one is not so much. And so I was mulled into it, but then once we were rolling on the ground, her head is a freaking cannonball. So I got bonked twice on the back and side of the head, uh, the left side, uh, that was like her orbit, I think hit me her eyebrow and then she come around with her head on another direction and the back corner of her skull cocked me right in the jaw which was right at the, where my some teeth are still at in the back there and uh 
but it jacked my head and like popped popped my neck and messed with the muscle and I would, not that it gave me whiplash but it 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 aggravated my whiplash which had a, a just a different sense of things the rest of the night um she was super apologetic I didn't get mad and uh she was bonked too but um yeah I didn't feel good and so that's uh reflexes is one thing living with a dog like this those reflexes are better step it up so anyway she is just zonkered because that's what she does if you sit with her touching you next to you she'll just go out and fart and then here I've got this lovely lady right here and as you can see she's still biggish I mean, she hasn't drastically lost weight or anything like that. I mean, obviously, there's something significant gone with the fluid. Because she's got new crusties again. So, I think maybe it was like an infected mat. So, now that I know I can navigate and maneuver her in the shower a little bit, I will be bathing her a little bit more often. Just straight water, by the way. No, no shampoos or anything. And straight hot water because cats hate cold water. Didn't know if you knew that or not. So anyways, yeah, she's just chilling. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty perfect. She is. And I mean, like I said, the the amount of activity that she has, I didn't I didn't want to record because I didn't want there to be like, you know, possibilities of bloodshed or whatever. <clears throat> Which is why I feel like I'm safely recording now. Um she really lit up. She was super defensive, and for a minute she was like, you know what, I'm going to drive this this thing out. And a couple of times there that I'd take her outside, of, when I brought her back in, you could tell they thought she was finally gone. And it's like, man, it's going to be like a week until we find out what's up. Like, I'm just going to have to get old. Like, I didn't do anything today, but just hang out. And come tomorrow afternoon, i got to find out if anybody's missing a pup. Or, alternately, if nobody's missing a pup, but keep her here for a bit, but I may have to end up rehoming her to someone else because I don't think there's any way I can afford this. Oh. What a freaking weekend. I mean, I've had worse weekends for sure. So that's where it is. Um, Princess has, for her part, he, sometimes she just hides out as far back and up and hidden away inside the room that she knows full well that the dog can't get into, safer than safe can be. And then other times she climbs out and finds other hiding places. Apparently she was hiding behind the TV at one point. That might be where Oi was. And, um, although eventually I found her upstairs. Um, and so anyways, Princess has ventured downstairs before Oi did. And then, uh, has been inside and out and, I believe every one of the cats has been darted at by the dog now. Uh, she stops right any time I call her. Um, not by name, but by a hand clap. Uh, because she's not recognized the name yet, quite. She's she's taking to it, but for me to shout a command and her to obey, the hand clap was all I had. Um, 
And she stops and comes right over. So, um, And you know, earlier tonight, she went out to go to the bathroom and just started working off a storm at the woods. So I don't know if the neighbor dog was there. There's some enormous farm cat that I believe is a male that is just shagtacular um, that was hanging out around the yard here too. So I don't know if that cat like was following this dog around or if there's some freaking like legit. I made some joke about like the incredible journey or whatever, but like that's not. That's what's going on. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else. Uh, nothing worth commenting on. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. There is a thing worth commenting on that I will comment on in a different video get this one made first. Oh, I'm tired. It's going to be bedtime soon and I would love to be able to leave the door open. So if anybody wants to sleep up on shelves or things around in the same room as me without, you know, being on the bed or trying to lay on the bed on one side of me that, that, that they can. I just want to make sure that nobody has a violent interaction here. I don't need that. Because unfortunately, if this pupper gets aggravated and gets a hold of anybody that's ragdoll time and I can't be having that so um, that's kind of the primary concern and thankfully she's been staying around me mostly um, which kind of prevents that but every time she gets through the door and she decides she's going to go punk at a cat I think she's lived with cats So yeah, for now all is as well as it can be, and I sure hope the higher powers that be are watching and paying close attention to how I am conducting myself here. can't afford to spend and my cats are aggravated and I've been cut and scratched and slashed getting in between like stopping it and I just zen 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 I hope the higher powers are watching I hope that they don't have some asshole prank in store instead of like actual some kind of you know, reward or, uh, you know, a chance to start making some money toward the innumerable projects that I have ahead of me. Anyway, that's the end of this video. In closing... I am at least less empty at the moment, which is 